Due to the nature of my dad's job, he would be off work for several months during the winter season. I would go to school and have worries about different things that were going on at home financially. And there was a time when we went without a house and we just had to ask for help here and there. And it felt discouraging. It felt scary. We often didn't know what was going to happen the next week or the next month. And the thing that caused us to hold on to each other was, was our faith and, and reliance upon God. I look back on it now and, and I realize that I might have felt financially poor at the time, but the, the life lessons that I was learning about perseverance and about overcoming discouragement caused me to be more richly blessed than I would have been had I, had I not had those challenges. When I went to Nationals for the first time ever, I was really young and I was able to win the gold medal and that was my first time out. Our roller skates are uh, much heavier than the ice skates, so we have about 10 more pounds to carry on each foot. It's more difficult to learn the double on roller skates than it is on ice skates just because of the weight factor and the momentum factor. It can be very frustrating at times, but once you're able to jump up in the air and rotate two times around and land rolling backwards, that's one of the greatest feelings in the world. It really is like nothing else. She's had her moments where she's been discouraged and where she's been frustrated, but she works through it and continues on and accomplishes what she sets out to accomplish. That's a very strong point for her. Maintaining a sense of humor through the struggles that I had growing up, I think was one of the biggest factors in helping me get through it. She's had that positive outlook that I know that things are bad now, but they will get better. I never hear her complain. I think Megan is very grateful for everything, no matter how simple or how small. That's kind of a very in-your-face statement when I say that we really don't have any right to complain. But when we complain, we lose sight of the good things that we could be seeing, and there's so many. I want to work in elementary education just simply because I'm very interested in the way kids think, and I'm very interested in trying to keep their thoughts focused toward a positive goal that they can do to not only better themselves, but to better their environment around them, to better their community. I think her energy and strength and passion all come from God. She's gone through a lot of hard times. I would tell young kids today, look whatever has happened to you in the eye and just keep going and working through the rough times. My faith has taught me to, to never, never, never give up. Subscribe to our channel, The Real Winning Edge, now on YouTube. You can see more inspirational videos like this.